Hi guys, so you here from Blender Bros and in this video I'm going to show you how you can very easily add dirt to your models in Blender. Let's go. Alright, so normally when you model something and you want to texture it, you know, and you want to bring it to Substance Painter or Quixel Mixer, you need some seams, you need UVs, it's a lot of work. Now I want to show you how to do this very easily with literally a few clicks in Blender and no hassle and it looks phenomenal. People will ask you, how did you do it in Substance Painter? Well, I didn't. I used two clicks, okay? So this is a mat. It's um, titanium mat, and it comes from the definitely EV material pack by Chip Walters for Kitops, and you can use it with free version of Kitops. So links are in the video description. Grab it. This pack is phenomenal. I've been using it for years. So the way you add mat here is literally one click, and it's really easy. All you need to do is download the pack, unzip it, and then... You go here to preferences on the kidops and you simply under file path you simply have to link it to a specific folder in which you have all the materials stored and you know this is just like with decal machine when you link to a folder with decals you here link to a folder with mass okay it's just very simple right so once you do that you can actually use it through hard ops because hard ops integrates a lot of add-ons like mesh machine uh, kiblerator and also kidops so when I'm going to go here to Q menu, I'm going to see, you're going to see this asset loader as long as you have Kitops installed and you can add click on that to open the legacy uh, menu. This is not the new menu because new menu looks like this. I don't like it. I prefer the legacy menu and it's actually the same one as you're going to see here on end panel. Okay. So if you go here to Kitops, here Kitops, it looks the same here. Okay. So again, Q and load that in and then go here to uh, your, um, uh, mat library and go to dirty and then select this newer dirty okay and then instead of clicking on add material i want you to click on add insert add an insert and you're gonna see an insert here and right click to cancel and it's gonna disappear okay now i want you to open this window here by dragging it up and go to shade editor and you will see that this is this titanium mat here now what we need to do is we need to drop the dirt here between this hue and saturation and BSDF principle, okay? So go to Shift A and go to Group and go here to Newer Dirty and literally drop this in and you're done. It's a one-click deal, guys. Now what you can do here, you can actually adjust it. You can, you know, change the dirt color. You can change the dirt amount. You can also uh, change the, uh, for example, value of the material itself which is awesome, we're gonna get this grimy, really wicked looking mat, it just looks brilliant. And you know, it's really easy, and if you wanna, you know, copy that to another mat, very easy guys, let's go here to Asset Loader, let's go to Metal, and let's go for the shiny titanium, okay, and let's edit. And we're gonna copy the dirt over, okay? So go to this mat, grab this node with the dirt, okay? So click on the node, Control C, then click on that one, Control V, and literally just plug it in, and you're done, okay? That's how easy that is, all right? And you get different types of dirts, so you can choose different types of dirts here under dirty, okay? So we get dirty up and uh, dirty down, different types, and you can actually stack them. So if I, for example, went here with dirty up and edit insert again and cancel it, right? Click on the mod here. Shift A and the went here, you can see that there is a dirty app. You can plug it in and you get two dirts now stacking up. One of them is going from the top uh, bottom to the top, and the one the other one is just you know overall dirt all over the place. So if you have something that's grounded like a, like a pillar or some kind of uh, element that lays on the ground that there is a dust gathering from the bottom, the dirty app is a really easy way to you know get it sorted. And you can again change all the settings here. And I give you one more cool tip. If you want this dirt to go to the very top of your object, you know, uh, so dirt high, you see, if I, uh, even if I slide it quite high, you can't see it going all the way up. Simply change the value here to 1000, okay? And this is going to cover the entire object. So there you go, guys. That's my tip on dirt. Thanks so much for watching. See you in the next video.